to kind of send a message. And I'm sorry, but it's just not looking good. All right. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Lewis with another one. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, live, laugh, love. Thank y'all for watching. Deuces. Good afternoon once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Lewis Sports Network. It is your boy Lewis and I'm back once again with another heavy hitter banger with yet another video. Make sure to smash that like button. Break the like button. Make sure to break the subscription in terms of hitting that notification bell. Subscribe to the channel. Make sure to share the video. Make sure to comment down below. And always, again, make sure those notifications are turned on. So I wanted to talk about this game last night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm embarrassed for the Boston Red Sox. I mean, I said Boston Red Sox. Why am I thinking baseball? I meant the Boston Celtics. There we go, the Boston Celtics. So what I'm very upset about is you had a 21-point lead, ladies and gentlemen. If you're the Boston Celtics, you had a 21-point lead. Shout-out to the Brooklyn Nets because they could have easily packed this game in but they competed and they play hard. Here's what's very, this is what's very alarming. Yeah, I get that there was no Jason Tatum, but for the Brooklyn Nets, there was no Kyrie Irving. He's out for the season with shoulder surgery. Kevin Durant hasn't played all year. He's out with an Achilles injury, so he's not back until next year. Even if Jason Tatum was out with illness, what excuse do you have blowing a 21 point lead at home to Brooklyn? A team that had been struggling, a team that's barely hanging on to what? They're either 7th or 8th in the East. I think they're the 8th seed in the Eastern Conference. Fortunately for the Brooklyn Nets, the other teams in the East are very, very bad. Are bad. They're not that good enough. So they can afford to be in the playoffs. So, and they're going to make the playoffs. But the Nets have a very good team. They just have not played to their capabilities. They've been a very bad defensive team. Uh, I don't like the way that they play in fourth quarters, especially the thing is also with Brooklyn is they off, they get off to very good starts and then they get away they get away from what they were doing that helped them get the lead in the first place. It's like they forgot how to play basketball. And then in the fourth quarter, uh, Brooklyn then has issues um, finishing games. And then they start to – they show a lack of discipline and then poor IQ, which it just lets you know that they have trouble executing down the stretch. They don't execute down the stretch. <clears throat> But anyway, give the Brooklyn Nets a lot of credit. You know, as the old motto in Brooklyn says, we go hard, we play hard, man, in BK. All right? Shout out to Biggie Smalls. But my point is, you lose a 21-point lead if you're Boston and you lose by nine in overtime. Then you allow 51, I repeat, ladies and gentlemen, 51 points in the fourth quarter to the Brooklyn Nets, a team that struggles to score at times. What's even worse Karis LeVert had 14 points through three quarters. He scores 36 points in both the fourth quarter and overtime, and you lose by nine. Now, give Karis LeVert credit. He was also hitting some tough shots. But also, I didn't like the way that the Boston Celtics were defending him. There's no excuse. Bro, look at that. They outscored the Celtics 51-34 in the fourth quarter. See, when you score 34 points in the quarter... On most nights, you're going to win if you're cracking that many points. But when you allow 51 to the opposition, that means you suck defensively. What's even worse, you got outscored 11-2 to in overtime. That means you got outscored by 26 in the last two quarters. 62-36. to 36. You only scored two points in overtime. And remember, the Celtics had a three-point lead. And then Karras LeVert gets fouled, and he knocks out all three free throws. And look, about, and look at this. If Karis LeVert had not missed six free throws, he would have had a 56-point game. Which is why this is truly pathetic if you're Boston. It's pathetic. I mean, if we look at the scores, folks, let's take a look here. If you look at this game recap, bro, not one other player cracked 20 points. Not one player. For the Brooklyn Nets, Karis LeVert was the only one who went beyond 20. While the Boston Celtics, they had four guys in double figures, and they had two 20-point scores. They had five guys in double figures. They had five. Brooklyn had four, but no other player cracked 10 points. But you get outscored 62 to 36 in the fourth quarter in overtime. Karis LeVert scores 36 of his 50 points in the fourth quarter in overtime. That's 72% of his points. 72% of his points were scored in the fourth quarter in overtime. All this tells me is when I think of the struggles of possibly the Milwaukee Bucks, even the Miami Heat, 
and all teams have struggles, but it's like the way that the East struggles, in my opinion, even though it's improved, this just tells me that the NBA championship, in my opinion, is going back to the Western Conference this year. That's crazy. And also, I got to tell you this about the Brooklyn Nets. If you're the Brooklyn Nets, you got to be excited. Your cause for concern because of Kyrie Irving, you got to see how Kevin Durant does when he comes back. But like I said, if those two guys play their game and they're healthy with Karis LeVert, ladies and gentlemen, you got your third guy. I already know Brooklyn Nets fans already knew this because they already know what type of work Karis LeVert puts. He's that good. But my point is, is that if you're Brooklyn, you got your third guy. See, Karis LeVert is what Kyle Kuzma is supposed to be for the Lakers right now. So now if KD and Kyrie can come back healthy and they do their thing and Karis LeVert is playing at this level, he just showed you he could put up 50 points. Ladies and gentlemen, and if the Brooklyn Nets get better defensively, you're looking at a, you're looking at one of the top teams not only in the Eastern Conference but all of the NBA. And competing for an NBA championship because you got Spencer Dibbity in the background. You obviously got DeAndre Jordan who could still he could he could still, you know, do a very good job doing the dirty work, getting you rebounds. He's not what he he not what he what he once was a couple of years ago, but you know he could still you know play solid. And who knows who could they bring coming this off season? You don't know. And that's why I said you need to keep in mind of Anthony Davis. I don't want to spread rumors or anything, but that's why I think it's crucial for the Lakers to win because if Anthony Davis shows any indications and he's starting to see the signs that this might not be the team for me. Brooklyn Nets, look out. Brooklyn fans, you get AD, KD, Kyrie, and you got Levert and Dewitty. It's going to be over for the league. It's going to be over for the league. But once again, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to do the score real quick. 129-120 Nets against uh, Boston. Shout out to the Brooklyn Nets for not quitting and continuing to compete because they could have packed this game in being down by 21, but they – they came back and they fall hard. So kudos to the Nets. If you're the Boston Celtics, listen, you have your bad games when you don't have it like probably for the beginning of the game or you have it for a little bit and then it's just you lose it for the rest. The problem was the Celtics had it from early and they just let it go in in a just horrible historic fashion. This was an avalanche of a collapse. And it's like you could have gained, you could have taken that two spot from Toronto because they, and you would have tied them because the thing is you own the tiebreaker right now. So you would have been on the, in the two seed. So now Toronto kind of gets a little bit of a break. So if you're the Boston Celtics, you need to get better defensively. It's to the point that Brad had to take out the starters 